Good morning friends, uh, today I'll take you through a glimpse of my garden. Uh, this is a very small space, it's a small space garden. So this is one of my pink hibiscus plants. Okay, can you see those flowers? Yeah. So this plant uh, had been attacked by many leaf bugs uh, last, uh, last uh, couple of months and I'm treating it. Uh, but still there are plenty of buds okay so i'm not able to prune the plant still and uh, this is one of my rose plants this is one of my rose uh, uh, it's a maroon dark maroon color and uh, here you see another rose plant it is a red color buds are there and this is again my pink beautiful pink rose but right now I have only buds no flowers and this is the yellow beauty the hibiscus uh, the yellow beauty which again has plenty 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 of buds uh, again the only simple trick is rice washed water with citrus peels orange peels most of mostly i give orange peels okay so this is a rose plant and uh, you can see i've kept uh, garlic in a small container in all my rose pods because of this uh, like i uh, don't see any pests in my rose plants my rose plants have been pest free for the past one year and uh, this is one of the sweet potato slips which I planted. I keep uh, empty pods like this so that the pigeons don't come and sit and try to lay eggs. I always have problems with pigeons. Uh, so I will be planting some more slips over here once they root. And uh, this is my new potato plant. I have just again planted the cut a portion and planted the stem. And this is my curry leaf plant, a relatively new plant and below that you can see my compost bucket. Like uh, uh, what I do is of late uh, I don't uh, do composting in a single large container because um, it takes a lot of time. So what I do is I just split uh, and uh, use broad containers to make my compost. So here you can see in this spot again there is one more compost going, composting going on and uh, this pot also. So once the pot is ready like I mix well and I can use the same for planting. And uh, here you can see my turmeric plant. Turmeric plant uh, is uh, ready for harvest. I am waiting for next week Shankranti to harvest it. Every year I use this during Shankranti and uh, then I uh, replant one of the one or two of the bulbs again. Then here since this is a west side balcony my capsicum needs little shade so I've kept my capsicum plant in between the rose and uh, turmeric plant. So can you see one beautiful capsicum is there. Okay. This is the capsicum plant. Keep adding more and more plants to my balcony and there is hardly any ground space. I look for alternative options and uh, now we get these kind of over the grill pots. So wherever there is space I am using that. There you can see my water spinach coming up well. This uh, was inspired by Abdulji and Geeta ji from group 4 and I uh, have planted this. There are plenty of saplings. Now I have to repot few of them. Then uh, here is my chrysanthemum, lovely yellow chrysanthemum which again is an over the grill pot and I have to again behead this and give way for new buds and bulbs, new buds and flowers sorry. And this is one of my newer plants, the colocasia plant hope you can see it so colocasia is coming up then this is again another lovely capsicum i have about five capsicum plants okay so uh, this is this beautiful capsicum 
and now this is my jam jasmine plant i pruned well and they've all grown back i'm just waiting for the flower buds uh, this is my big tulsi in which you can see plenty of i pruned heavily you can see plenty of new growth still again seed formation is there i have to prune a little more and this is my aloe vera plant and my indian uh, oregano so this you know spreads like anything so i have two pots look at this this is a very very small pot but look at the oregano growth indian oregano and uh, now this is my uh, cabbage which i have uh, rooted in water and planted and another capsicum here okay and this is my beauty queen okay my pride of my garden beauty queen she's been with me for 4 plus years and i have not been able to prune this plant even a single time this is because plenty of buds and flowers always okay again at the base i have kept some pots to uh, secure it from pigeons here comes another chrysanthemum which a very small plant with plenty and plenty of flowers just because of rice washed water okay and here we have my newest marigold the gold uh, the last one it was again uh, uh, i lo i almost lost it due to this pigeon menace and pigeon droppings the seed is over here trying to recover it hope it recovers and um, this is my native red hibiscus okay the plant which has the least care but it has grown in full swing okay then this is again my another red hibiscus okay there are plenty of buds again all the buds bloomed and new buds are forming now this is the wonderful mint which i am able to grow after a lot of struggle and lot of trials now it is grown so beautifully again over the grill uh, pot and this is lemon basil and there is something coming up on the other side which i made to figure out and this is the portulaca plant and i have to protect my mint always from the pigeons by covering it like this with a mesh so it gets sunlight as well as it protected from uh pigeons and this setup is for the uh this plant crossandra or kanagambaram plant uh it needs shade since my balcony is on the west side uh, there is plenty of the plenty of sunlight in the afternoon so i have made a setup like this to provide shade this is again another capsicum plant and this is the hardwood or quadrangularis plant and uh, or it is also known as pirenda in tamil and uh, my methi this is my methi which is sprouting and uh, this is spinach i have already had to harvest this is again ready for harvest then uh, again a separate bitter gourd plant growing in a pot this is a relatively new one then here i have my onion bulbs then this is something i planted uh, i planted uh, some uh, amaranthus stems and uh, some coriander stems i'm trying to regrow and uh, here you have beetroot i planted three seeds only one has come up so it is growing and uh, this is another desi chrysanthemum the light yellow color desi chrysanthemum 
and this is my beta god plant i have a setup like this for the beta god plant this is the first fruit i've left it as such for seed formation here are some more fruits coming up some male flowers are there today these are my chili saplings which are coming up some garlic which i've kept as a pest repellent this is a tam deep tea g uh, she was growing it in a container so even i thought let me try and i'm just trying to grow it in a grow bag and here are the newest tomato plants okay i have two tomato plants they've grown pretty tall and one has started producing buds so i'm waiting to see the lovely flowers and fruits and here have the Amaranthus, which I'm regrowing, I've left it for uh, collecting seeds. Seeds are forming. Can you see? So I've left it for collection of seeds. So this is the outside my uh, balcony garden. And here one more. I have my sweet potato. Again, uh, the first one which I put the whole potato in. So I'm not sure if this will be able to produce potatoes. So I've curled up the vine inside, and um, I'm just trying to cut vines from this and root it, and trying to plant it in the other pot to see which method works. So all this is just because of only one uh, element that is. Uh, a rice wash water in which i soak peels uh, and i give it so thanks to abdul ji for inspiring all of us and giving us his wonderful inputs every day uh, let me take you to my um, uh, kitchen uh, window sill what i have planted as well as indoor i just have a couple of plants that's it this is my kitchen slab okay uh, where i try to grow my uh, uh, seedlings so these are lemon lemon seedlings plenty of lemon growing see and i've kept an onion also and garlic too okay and uh, this is again mint greed trying to grow mint in water again this is hybrid variety i believe but still i want to just try you know so i'm just trying to root it and uh, this uh, these are again money plants okay and uh, this is one of the aloes which are grown in a glass in a very long this is again another cabbage you can just see and uh, this is rooted i'm trying to root it in water then this is again lemon grass which again i'm trying to root in water the roots are developing beautifully coming to my indoor uh, i don't have much of indoor plants because like uh, there is no proper uh, uh, space like you know place where there will be good sunlight uh, filtered sunlight so this is just my one of the uh, indoor plants which i bought few months back the neon pothos okay and it is picking up well and this is a setup for the neon pothos and i told you this is the huge rose which comes from the plant like the buds which i showed you so this is one of the indoor setup this is again the sweet potato wine which i'm trying to root in water can see some roots are forming indoor setup it may not be bright uh, because of the it is on the east side and i can't provide more lighting than this uh, so we get the morning sun and these are the beetle leaf plants which i'm waiting to repot one is given by my friend i'm maintaining my friend's plant she's out of town and this is my beetle leaf plant and uh, this is one of the mints i had two mints one year too which i gave it away to one of my friends and uh, this is wheat grass ready to harvest this again is one of the money plants in 
water. This again is a small setup here. A small setup here. Uh, this one, like uh, I was uh, inspired by Anu, she had used a candlelight holder. So I've used the similar one here. Then uh, this is one of the another money plants. Okay, I've tied it to the window. This is again another Crossandra plant. So I've kept it in this corner because the, uh, the wall is there behind. It won't get uh, much of sunlight uh, because it doesn't need much sunlight. So the Crossandra in a hanging pot. This is my bioenzyme rack. Plenty of things I'm trying on bioenzymes. I have one more money plant here on my son's uh, table. Uh, this uh, my daughter made this re from recycled sauce bottle. The bottle here comes my son's room's window sill, which is the place where I dry my items because there is good sunlight here, morning sunlight. So these are lemon peels, and these are petunia saplings coming up. And this is a potulaca which just, uh, you know, a piece fell off from the main plant and I'm just trying to grow it here. And this is again, uh, uh, it was a small dying piece of money plant. Again, I put it in a small pot and put it here and it is growing well because of the sunlight. This is again the coffee powder, filter, used filter coffee grounds which I'm drying. Not spared a small place here too in the hall window i have put coriander seeds and i can see a oh missed showing you the very important part this is my treasure rice washed water uh, in which i have soaked peels and this is the only only manure which goes to my uh, plants apart from this the home compost Okay, which I use as soil mix. So friends, uh, I just want to let you all know one thing that space is never a constraint to try and grow new things. Only thing is like uh, since uh, it's a small place, I have kept the plants very close. So at times I do face some pest issues. But again, all that has solutions organic solutions so that doesn't stop me from trying more you know, in, in, within the small space i try to do whatever possible uh, way organically and again there is not not a single uh, chemical which we use everything is uh, completely mostly the only kind of uh, uh, this thing I use is rice washed water with different peels and coffee used coffee grounds okay and just plain water and nothing else uh, so it is just the confidence one has to build and hard work all this gives plenty of beautiful beautiful results and lot of inner peace looking at these every day no, gives me plenty of inner peace. So happy gardening.